The Earthmaster back here on the Earthquake live 3D stream here uh, with the update video here on the Saturday night. It is August 12th, 2023, 10.21 p.m. California time. And again, we are still currently uh, live streaming the uh, Perseid meteor shower from our backyard here. Missy Mimi's is uh, streaming that right now, so go check it out here on our channel. But I'm inside giving myself a break from the mosquitoes. I'm not even joking. They're pretty bad. Earthquake activity starting off here in the uh, uh, Hawaii area. We are seeing some movement out there across the Kilauea volcano. Also some movement down here in New Zealand. We'll get to that here in just a second. But uh, 2.0, the latest quake on the map from uh, Kilauea volcano. We've been noticing here a trend of earthquake activity over the last couple days. Seismic unrest, so to speak. Uh, with continued inflation, we're not noticing any rapid inflation here across the Kilauea volcano. No signs of it increasing in terms of uh, the eruptive phase, but uh, continuing to keep an eye on it as it is showing a little bit of heightened earthquake activity here in the last week. Uh, West Coast activity here where we're at, uh, just outside of Chico, California. Lighten up here in Southern California in the last hour, 1.6. Down off of the Santa Barbara area. This is the Mission Ridge Fault, it looks like. We're just off of the uh, Mission Ridge Fault. Noticing a swarm of activity here up against uh, the Santa Barbara area. Now, it's, it doesn't look like it's on any specific fault system, but it is uh, in a linear fashion up here. you got to remember the general strain here within this area. Um, I don't have it keyed up here, but the Pacific Plate... Moving off to the northwest here, that includes Los Angeles. And the North American plate here that includes Bakersfield, Fresno, Lancaster, Victorville, moving towards the southeast. So this is all generally scooting up strain into the northwestward westward direction. Uh, and that explains the activity we're seeing here across the Ventura area uh, throughout the day today. Not on any specific fault system, but it is pushing up some momentum and pressure here up against the state of California. We'll continue to watch this. This is very shallow earthquake activity from the 1 to the 2.0 range uh, at about, uh, well, just below the surface there, about 0.9 kilometers to, to the uh, surface regions. Definitely keep an eye on that continuing with this activity here in the last hour. Also outside of the San Bernardino area, got a little separate swarm here. Underneath the uh, Rialto area. Looks like some ones keen up here. Uh, now that is just off the northern edge here of the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Continue to watch Southern California as it is showing some heightened activity here tonight. Uh, Salton City area. A couple earthquakes from earlier this afternoon. Got a 2.3 and a 2.0. Not a whole lot going on across the southern edge of the San Andreas Fault. But uh, remember, you know, all this activity does push up and strain the plate boundary. All these uh, fault systems here are secondary to the plate boundary or third. And um, they're definitely accumulating some strain out there tonight across the Southern California area. Northern California, well, there's not a whole lot shown up here on the map. We got one 2.1 from uh, earlier, looks like, uh, earlier this evening just off the coast well actually it's in inland here off the uh, uh, 101 is this the 101 yeah it looks like it is <coughs> excuse me 2.1 near Petrolia of course that station we have live streaming here uh, it looks like it's offline unfortunately all right uh, what else we got here for activity Yellowstone National Park was showing some movement earlier this morning I, uh, I've been outside all night fighting mosquitoes, so I've been doing the best I can to prevent the mosquitoes from attacking me, and that includes everything uh, possible, including the off spray and fabric softeners and uh, wearing full clothing outside when it's 80 degrees. So, yeah, I got to get back out there and help Missy Mimi's, but 2.7 earlier this morning. Let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone overview for any seismic uh, signature activity since then. Now it looks like there was some activity <coughs> excuse me, prior to the 2.7. You guys see that? I believe the 2.7 is right here. We just seen a couple earthquakes there. 
that are within the vicinity of that magnitude. I'd say four of them. Probably around the 2.0 or maybe the 2.2 range here. So there was a slight elevated earthquake uptick here across uh, generally the center area of the Yellowstone caldera. Not a huge swarm. It looks like it has since calmed down. If you look at Little West Thumb here, things have mellowed out. The current seismic signature here on Yellowstone shows calm conditions. There's an earthquake there in New Zealand. Again, we'll get to that here in a second. So a uh, little bit of uptick here across the uh, Yellowstone National Park here in the last 24 hours. Uh, generally light earthquake activity across the rest of the states. Looking at somewhat elevated movement here across the South America region with some earthquake activity. A 5.1 occurring in the Peru area. Also some smaller quakes up and down the Peru-Chile Trench. Notice this uh, little activity stirring up here throughout the last 24 hours. 4.8. They're somewhat deep into the Peru Chile Trench, 183 kilometers deep. Again, there's the activity in Hawaii. Definitely continue to watch that. The New Zealand area, now I know the uh, USGS not really showing anything about it, so we need to go to the GeoNet or the EMSC servers. In this case, we'll check out the GeoNet servers and see what's going on. 3.2 being reported here about 17 minutes ago and that would coincide here with the activity we're seeing across the new zealand seismograph station not a big earthquake whatsoever um it looks like it was felt across areas of the region here about five people reported feeling that mostly around the wellington area of the new zealand region uh i don't know about the extreme that might be <laughs> that might be a little overboard but for the most part weak shaking was probably reported there from this 3.2 that was re reported about 11 kilometers deep prior to that the 5.6 two hour or two days ago uh let's look at the earthquake drums here and see what we have uh we'll probably see that three pointer stirring up here there it is uh, outside the wellington area showing up pretty uh nicely across the south island station aside from that though most of the activity generally light across new zealand Although we did see some activity stirring up here across the Macquarie Island area, 4.8 earlier this evening. When this activity stirs up, we expect this plate boundary here to move across New Zealand. So heads up, keep an eye uh, following that movement there earlier this evening. Uh, some deeper activity across the areas of the Solomon Islands, right? 382 kilometers deep for a 4.3. This is in our quiet zone. Let's see if we got any further activity following that movement in that area. Uh, there's a deep activity, some shallower, larger scale movement taking place following that deep activity, which makes sense. Uh, it looks like we did see a 5.7. And remember that deeper earthquake activity tends to put strain on the upper levels here of the oceanic crust and the plate tectonics here that work across the Solomon Islands area and the Papua New Guinea region. So the momentum again, transverse and travels across the plate boundary due to uh, uh, mainly due to the plate stress that travels northwest here in this area. Definitely uh, seen some uptick here across the region, the Papua New Guinea area. Again, 5.7 in that region. Pretty good activity here just outside of Taiwan with a five pointer coming in near the uh, Bataan Islands area of the Philippines here. Halfway in between, it looks like Taiwan, Philippines area. 48 kilometers deep, definitely noticing a good cluster of earthquake activity tonight and over the last 24 hours in that region. Some moderate and minor earthquake activity throughout China and up around the Himalayas. Turkey area, seen some threes and fours. And out around the, uh, well, let's see exactly, Canary Islands it looks like, 3.4 coming in. Double check the EMSC model here, the world map. I got to get out there. Hopefully there's something of Missy Mimi's left out there. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Um, yeah, 4.4 coming in earlier today, it looks like, in that area. Somewhat of a larger quake uh, for that region. The rest of the Atlantic, though, pretty quiet. One earthquake outside of Iceland here. Uh, let's see what we got for the trimmer map here tonight. Stand by for a second. 63 epicenters, mainly around the center coast of Oregon. Watch that because the center coast is mainly the area that sees 
minimal trimmer activity, uh, which is a little odd if you think about how the dynamics work here. Uh, most of the trimmer occurs on the southern end of the uh, Cascadia and on the northern end with leaving regions around central Oregon well un unaffected far as trimmer goes but that creates an environment upstream around this area uh, that could put it in the risk of the mega quake taking place across the, the uh, Cascadia um, not saying that's going to happen right now but uh, you know somewhat it's a little odd to see trimmer activity up here across the center uh, center coast here of Oregon definitely continue to watch that though uh, for some activity uh, let's check out space weather here real quick and then we'll jump out outside and continue to get eaten by mosquitoes looks like a 99% chance for a C flare M flare at 25 X flare around 1% so I'll drop those down on the uh, live stream a coronal hole is facing us up on the northern hemisphere of the sun number 33 to be exact now if you look at the flare activity we are very minimal we're stretching down into the B flare category and that's about as low as you can go which means that these sunspot regions are very uh wimpy <laughs> i guess that's a word uh, there's not a whole lot of complexity with a uh, with within these sunspots at all and technically there's not a whole lot around the eastern limb as well uh, but we'll continue to watch this and monitor that for some development in the coming days all right again live stream is up and running on the um secondary live stream looks like we have about 263 people in that live stream monitoring the perseid meteor shower um here in northern california and if you are in the dark and you have uh you know some clear skies away from the light pollution of cities get out there and look towards the northeastern sky we've seen one meteor there on the live stream but it's been uh, it seems it's been hit and miss uh, and tonight is the peak, it's supposed to be the peak of the Perseid meteor shower tonight. So we're hoping for some more to pop up in the live stream. We'll be out there throughout the evening. Make sure you guys check us out uh, there on the secondary live stream. Take care, folks. We'll catch you guys a little bit later on. Have a good one.